hello my youtube fam how are you doing i hope you are all doing okay so today i'm making a cross stew i've already made a cross stew when i created this channel um the first time it's already there but the way I make that okra stew is different from the way I'm making this one today. So this is just a different way of making okra stew. Alright, so let's get right into it. Watch me transform all these ingredients into one pot. <laughs> all right as you can see right here i have all my ingredients prepped and um, i'm going to start cooking with ease because when you prep all your ingredients down like this it's just easy to just you know cooking is just adding 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 and then be done so you don't have to be going back and forth, back and forth, looking for Maggie Cube here, looking for this. So try it. It's better. If you if you don't do that, I'm telling you, if you do this, you will like it. You put everything that you're going to use down and then you start cooking. All right. So I'm just going to start making this right now. As you okay, I'm going to make this with banku. Banku is made uh, uh, of uh, corn flour, corn flour, I think corn flour, and um, uh, whether you use the corn dough or use the corn flour to make it. So that's the way I can explain it. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm going to show you in the video. Yes. That we eat it with, and in French we call it la pâte, and some people call it in English, uh, corn fufu, or banku. Ghanaian call it banku. Okay, I have a mackerel and tilapia. I've fried already. I'm gonna use that. You know, <laughs> I've already fried. Here I have my crushed tomato habanero pepper right there. I have just crushed it. It's now well blended, like it's now smooth. Right there I have my signature <laughs> garlic, ginger, onion, and a little bit of aniseed right there. You know what time it is. And uh, I have my shrimp that I, I just boil a little bit, five minutes. And my garnishing pepper, green pepper, to garnish at the end of the stew. Okay, I have my Maggi cube. Uh, I'm not going to use all, I use one. Of that or if I'm using the small one I'll use two of that yep all right I have my smoke herring the powder one yeah if I don't have the uh, the herring itself I use the powder one to also have the flavor mm-hmm not to forget our bread palm oil An onion so you can see and my chopped spinach my chopped spinach I usually use spinach in my okra all the time mm -hmm. okay I have also my okra that I've already chopped and boiled for five minutes put it apart I set that apart and then when I finish my stew, I'll just add it to the stew. Let me show you. Right there. So you can see it's already boiled for 5 minutes. Okra, you're not supposed to boil okra for a long time. 
so right there slimy huh mm -hmm. the sliminess is the key <laughs> oh my goodness oh my goodness i have fun doing it okay starting with your pot on the stove and then add all right so i just add uh my oil onto the pot and then next i'm going to after the oil heat up a little bit uh, next i'm going to add my and next i'm going to add my onion as you can see the onion is frying i'll fry it for a little bit only and i'll proceed to put um all right where is cooking i'm just going to add my crushed uh tomato and habanero pepper which is now well blend as you can see it's not smooth i'm gonna add it stir it stir it stir it and let it cook about five to seven minutes so the tomato can be cooked the sourness of the tomato will be gone so it won't cut off the sliminess of the okra because know that tomato cut off the sliminess of okra it will cut it off right there so if you want to add your tomato to your okra make sure you cook it very very well yep and now i'm just going to cover it up and cook it for a little bit okay now i'm going to after five minutes or six minutes boiling i'm going to add a part of my ginger garlic and onion right there i'm not using all because it's a lot mm -hmm. stir it stir it very very well to even in the steel and i'm going to also add my uh, secret here i'm gonna add my secret which is the seasoning cube right there mm -hmm. i'm gonna add that one and uh, i'm gonna cover it up again to cook for a little bit right mm -hmm. A little bit and then you can proceed to the rest of the ingredient didn't that tell you when you prep your stuff you just adding it adding it adding it yeah all right all right it's been cooking for maybe five to ten 10 minutes now i think the tomato is well done mm -hmm. as you can see i'm stirring it and now i'm gonna add my uh, powder a uh, herring smoke herring powder one or the ground one i'm gonna add it just to have that flavor of uh, herring in it and uh, also yeah i put a good amount in there and also i'm gonna add my shrimp yep i'm gonna add my shrimp the small shrimp that i boil add it to it mm -hmm. stir it very well yep right there look at that look at that hmm I'm smelling the aroma already. <laughs> okay. Now, 
that everything is incorporated is only left with the spinach the okra and the fish and the salt to taste and the garnishing part that's all now we can proceed to the next by <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm cleaning there. When I'm cooking, that's all I do. I clean, 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 clean because the soup will be jumping all over the place and I don't like that. So when I do that, by the time I'm done with my cooking, I don't have a lot of work to do. I don't have a lot of cleaning to do. That's the reason why I do that. Okay, as is boiling and boiling and boiling and boiling now i'm going to add my um, fish yes my fish not it's not a lot but that will do it <laughs> too much of everything is bad don't you think so okay yes. You have to be careful not to scatter your fish. So I have to be careful doing this by stirring it, stirring it so the fish can, you know, get into the stew to have the taste of the stew. So as I'm stirring it like that, I'm going to taste it and see how it tastes so far. Because I've already put my secret in there. So, you know, I'm going to taste it and see how this is going. You see, I'm going to add, it doesn't, you know, the salt is not that enough. So, I'm going to add my small pinch of salt to it right there. And... Uh, I'm going next. I'm going to incorporate my um, spinach because remember I've already boiled down the okra, so I just even though the spinach doesn't take time to cook, I'm just going to add my spinach first, and after one minute, I'm going to add my okra and then garnish it. And we are all done from there. <laughs> all right. I'm enjoying doing this. I'm enjoying cooking this. Because, you know, just to adding and adding and adding. I'm telling you. Yep. The spinach seems a lot, but it's not. When it boils down, it's just going to become so small. So, I'm just going to cover it up. Right, and wait for maybe two minutes for the spinach. Okay, as um, I open this after two minutes, the spinach is all done. So I just immediately pour my okra on it. As you can see, yep. Now I'm going to yeah, stir it careful so you don't scatter your fish in there so as you can see the sliminess is still there that's what we like right slimy and just <laughs> right <laughs> so my soup is almost done not my soup my stew this one they call it stew because you made a stew before pouring your your your, your okra on it Oh, well, my stew is done. I'm garnishing it with the green pepper. You see all those green pepper? If the stew is not spicy enough, you can just crush this while eating your food. That's the reason why I am putting it and also adding some freshly fresh onion on top of that oh my look at that oh look at that seriously yep yep you know 
I also had some time crab, but my kid don't love crab. Nobody likes crab in this house. So <laughs> they like it's a difficult meat to eat, whether it's meat or it's water. I don't know. So they don't like crab. If not, I will have add some crab to it. <laughs> yep. The the fish and the shrimp is okay. Okay, as you can see, the stew is done. The okra stew is done. Now let's go and make some corn fufu or banku or lapat and enjoy this stew. Wow. Right, as you can see, I'm making my banku or my lapat or my fufu corn or corn fufu <laughs> so that's what i'm gonna eat my uh, across still with right there and right now yep i'm gonna make it into the ball oh my baby i'm gonna make it into the ball just like that mm-hmm Look at that, look at that, look at that. Very, very beautiful. White corn, nicely made. Okay. Thank you for watching. I'm going to show you how I serve myself with this ball. Fufu <laughs> or la pat or banku. All right, my people. <clears throat> As you can see, I'm serving myself. Yep, in my native plate. <laughs> wow, wow, very, very nice. Oh, my baby is burping. <laughs> okay. See, I'm going to just pour the stew on my fufu or uh, on my banku. I'm not going to make the soup separately. I'm just going to pour the on it like, just like in the village. Mm-hmm. Yep. Look at that. Don't you want to eat it? Tell me, don't you feel like eating that? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, my virtual friends, I'm just going to go and enjoy it. Thank you for watching. <laughs>